AM and FM seem very interesting, Baba. Can you tell me a little more about them? Of course, Vidya. But if we go in depth about modulation, I must first tell you about carrier and modulating waves. As I have told, information through communication mediums is carried through waves. In most situations, there are two waves involved. The first wave is the one which only acts as the carrier and is not created by the input device or the transmitter. This is known as the carrier wave. The second wave is the input signal itself which is superimposed over the carrier wave and then transmitted towards the receiver. This input signal is known as the modulating wave which varies one of its properties with time to create a signal. By superimposition, the variation in the input signal is also created in the carrier wave, thus modulating it. If the modulating wave varies in terms of its amplitude, keeping its frequency constant, then the transmitted signal is said to be AM signal. Whereas, if the modulating wave varies in terms of its frequency, keeping its amplitude constant, then the transmitted signal is said to be an FM signal. Let me list you a few properties of AM and FM signals. AM AM is comparatively cheaper but has worse sound quality due to low bandwidth. FM FM is comparatively more expensive but with better sound quality due to higher bandwidth. AM radio ranges from 535 to 1705 kilohertz. FM radio ranges in a higher spectrum from 88 to 108 megahertz. AM signals are more affected by harmful noises which disturb the signal since the input is saved in the amplitude. FM is not much affected by harmful noises which can affect the signal since the input is saved on the frequency variation. This was all about computer communication. I hope you have understood it all. Yes sir, it was very interesting and fascinating. I can't wait to learn more such things. We sure will in the next topic. Till then, goodbye.